What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JML Flow, aka Miss Let's Get Let's Go, bring y'all another Madden 17 Nano Blitz. And I know I disappeared on y'all for like the past two weeks. No, it's only for like six days. It felt like two weeks, but you know, taking a week off YouTube, it felt like two years. You know what I'm saying? But uh, somebody told me they were using a 4 6 playbook, and they were like, bro, I don't play much like you do. I play reg, so I can use a custom playbook. Can you use some stuff out of the 4-6 playbook and whatever, whatever? And also the 4-6 playbook and different types of uh, custom playbooks have been added to Madden Ultimate Team, like a 4-6 cover two multiple D. All those defensive playbooks have been added to Madden Ultimate Team. So we can start using like the 4-6 playbook, you know what I'm saying? And they got some stuff out here. They got the dime normal a dollar. I'm I'm gonna be working with it, seeing what it's all about. They got the four four, three four bear, but mainly it's the four six. But now we talking about the uh we got the four six bear and we talking about the gap press out the four six bear. Uh, I think it's one of the best splits in the game. I've been playing regs like a little bit lately and I just I use this cause like I I don't know. Y'all y'all just gonna see y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. It's a real good, real easy blitz. All you wanna do is man a line, you can baseline if you want, uh shift your line to the right, crash them to the right. It's it's similar to the pinch buck O out the three four bear, but it's just, it's almost the same exact thing. You can put this guy in a flat, uh, a hook, whatever you want. You can put him in a purple. It's really up to y'all. Just hit LB twice or L1 for PlayStation. Then you're gonna click all the buttons gonna pop up. You're gonna hit X or square for PlayStation. Then you can put him in a zone from there. Like I said, you're gonna base a line. That's Y or triangle for PlayStation. Then you're gonna shift your line back, your line to the right. Then you're gonna hit L1 or LB. For Xbox and one for PlayStation, then you hit right on the D pad that shifts them to the right, and you're gonna crash them to the right. So you're gonna hit L1, then right on the right stick. It's gonna like it comes up as slant right. I just say crash right, then you put that guy in the zones. And all you want to do is hover. I take this linebacker, whoever's on a running back, gonna hover right here. Uh, I like to use it, the guy who's on a running back, because once you start sending this blitz, they're gonna start uh blocking a running back. But uh, the other reason I like the baseline, because right here you can tell I'm in a man blitz because like everybody so even across the world. When you base a line and do this, they can't really tell because this guy usually come up here. Like cover three, this guy will be like over here, like when you base a line. So that's why I like doing it this way and just come down my safety. But either way, like, they, like a good player going to be able to tell like you, unless you play a cover three out of here a lot and use your safety, then you can do that. But like they're going to be able to tell you in some type of, blitz but like when you man align it's just a lot easier to tell so that's why i don't like doing it then you can see all we're gonna do is max protect y'all can see they blocking a running back at that time it got picked up but most times it does come in against a block running back it, it it depends on like the guy you have there and like the speed he is and like how many people you're sending because if if i send if i put that guy in the flat i usually don't flat somebody unless i'm playing like a real good player but if i want to send that other guy uh, like if I want to send that other guy without pitting him in a flat, I could do that and get one free like all the time, even if they're blocking a running back. But usually this way, especially online, it wor it usually works against a block running back. I'm gonna show you all the time. And it's that fast to set the blitz up. You just come over here. Just hold, sit right here. You're gonna hold RT. Now at that time I didn't block a running back. We gotta just see how fast the blitz comes through. It's a real easy blitz to set up. Uh, let's block running back. See, come here, you're gonna hover. Make sure you don't hit the old line and you don't get yourself in trouble. Y'all see that time running back blocking. Y'all see it. So, you see, when I don't put that guy in a flat, how it does come in a lot more consistent against the running back block. But usually, if you got someone fast, you could usually flat this guy over here. But I usually don't do it unless, like, I really, really have to. What are you doing? Move over. Just like I said, sit here and hold RT. That time, I don't know what's going on. I'm forgetting block a running back, but uh, that's my bad, Joe. I'm just out of it. Getting back into the groove, of everything, you know what I'm saying? Do this, man, protect. Y'all can see right there, he blocks the running back, and it still comes through. So, like I said, you can use this blitz however you want, whenever you want, but I wouldn't say, like, this is not a blitz you can spam. Uh, like, so keep that in mind because I don't want people to think they can keep running this over and over again. Like I said, it does get good pressure, and it's a good blitz. Like I said, we got the 4 6 playbook. I'm gonna be working with this playbook a lot now. Uh, because it just it just got a lot of like good formation. Y'all see, we got the four six bear, bear under four six normal. So we're gonna we're gonna be working with all these. Then we got the three four bear, which is my favorite, one of my favorite formations. We got the split three three five sand three three five wide, but it's, it don't got that much plays in it. We gonna work with it. But until then, it's your boy J Mel Flow, aka Mr. Let's Get It Let.